everybody. Welcome back to The Selling Room. I'm Chris and this is Sojourns, where we journey into sewing. And today we're talking about the V neckband. You can see here, a couple of weeks ago I showed you how to do a round or a scoop neckband. But today we're going to do the V neckband. It's a little bit trickier, but I have some tricks and some tips so that you can get it right every time. I encourage you to please like, share, and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our tutorials or pattern reviews. And the blouses I'm going to be working on today, the patterns, this one over here is the GG Georgian Ginger V-neck t-shirt pattern. And that is the pattern of the month. So this pattern is on special for $3.75 and I'll have the links to all of these tees in the description box. Thank you for joining us and stay tuned and learn how to do your V-neck band perfectly. Okay, so here we have our bodice. We have our V-neck right here. I have it marked center back. I always use a different color wonder clip to mark the center back. So that is my cue and clue to know that that's my center back. And I have the quarter marks here and then of course the V. Here on the V neck you can see that I've marked it with a chalk mark. I've also done some stay stitching about an inch and a half from the V to one side from the V to another. This will keep your neckline from stretching out. Okay so now we've prepped our bodice. Here is our V neck band. I used the pattern piece that came with the pattern. It is cut on the fold and then over here I have it right sides together. I always mark my wrong side with an X with my tailor's chalk. This is sewn with a quarter inch seam allowance which I again have marked with tailor's chalk and I've marked that center V with the tailor's chalk as well and I like to put pins. Also on the back of this V you'll see that I have some double weight salvi here. This really helps when you're sewing this V together so that it doesn't pull down into your needle plate. So I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine. I'm going to show you how I sew this quarter inch seam, pivot here, and sew this. And then I will press this seam open and I will press the neck band wrong sides together and then we'll get ready to sew it onto our bodice. We'll be right back. Okay, so now we have our V-neck under the presser foot and I've got it lined up. We're just gonna use our regular straight stitch. We're gonna go down this quarter inch seam allowance. When we get to the V, we're gonna keep our needle in, lift the presser foot, pivot, and then come back up here. And the salve on the back is not a problem because that just washes away. And I'll take the I have the pins in to hold this and I'll take them out as we go along. So here I'm holding on and I want to back stitch too. Okay, here we go. My machine's locking in my stitches. I'm going to stop and take out this pin before we go any further. And now I'm going to sew to that next pin right in the center. And now we're going to get to that V. I'm going to take one more stitch here by hand. Okay, lift the presser foot. Let's pivot this whole thing around. Try to keep my hands out of the way. I'm sorry there. Take this pin out. Let me pivot this around so that we're sewing right along that mark. Lower the foot and finish sewing this side. I'm just going to lock my stitches in here. Lift my presser foot. Let me show you this. Here we have it sewn. I'm going to cut this away for now. The rest will wash away. I'll press this and we'll be back. Okay, so now we're ready to attach our V neck band to our bodice. I'm going, this is going to be my right side. I'm going to flip that over upside down on here and I'm going to pin that V right here along where we've marked it. 
So I'm going to pin stay stitching to stay stitching right there. I've got a little quilter's ruler behind here so that I don't pin the bodices together. And I'm going to pin the v-neck to the bodice. Now I'm going to flip it over and check and make sure that I've got it lined up correctly. Yes. Okay. So now what we're going to do is take it over to the sewing machine and from the center of the V, we're going to sink our needle. We're going to manipulate this around so that it lines up for about two inches and we're going to sew that and stop. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other end. Okay, so now we have our v-neck under our needle. I've sunk the needle right down along that seam at a quarter inch seam allowance. And we're going to sew this just up into where we basted it. So I'm going to turn my fabric a little. And we're going to sew with a quarter inch seam allowance right along that edge. Lock in our stitches. stitch and really this is based you can just baste this on I'm gonna lift that out and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side I have to lift this up here manipulate this side over it takes a little bit of doing there we go now we've got that right along there I might even put a pin in to hold it and we can start right from our basting stitch. Put this back under the needle. And put this back under the needle. At our quarter inch seam allowance, and I'm gonna go all the way until we get to that center seam. I move my pin along the way, get to that center seam, back stitch. Now, if we flip it around and see, we've got our v-neck sewn on. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to baste this on all the way around, stretching it from quarter point to quarter point. We're going to baste this, the rest of this v-neck on. Let me switch to my basting stitch because in the end, I will serge this. So let's do it this way. I think I'll come on this side. And I'm going to sew from here to here. Okay. Raw edges together. We're gonna do a basting stitch. I've got my quarter point marked on my band and on my bodice. So you see I have to stretch this band a little to reach that point. Stretching the band and not the bodice. Okay, so let's sink our needle and now we can stretch this a little bit and go ahead and base that on. And I get to this point and I just reconfigure this a little bit and then I'm gonna stretch this again until it meets that next mark. There we go. Very hard to do this on camera. And then when I get there, take those off. And we do that all the way again until we get all the way around to the V. And then I'll show you that when I get all the way back around. Okay, so now I'm coming back around. I've just been basting it on. And I'm coming back around to where I started here. So I've just got a little bit more stretching between the quarter points. So let's just finish this up here. And when I get to that point, I'm stretching the band only and not the bodice. And then I'm just gonna finish where I started. Just add a tiny bit more to stretch right there. And go over that. And it's just a basting stitch, so I don't need to lock it in. 
I'm going to cut this off and let me pull back here a little bit and show you our band. I'm going to come back here to the ironing board. And look at that. Oops, I missed. <laughs> right there. Let me go back and sew that on. I must have seen these things really happen. It's real. It happens. That just got missed under the presser foot. No big deal. That's why you baste first. Let's go ahead and make sure I'm catching it this time. There we go. Come all the way here. That's what you get for trying to sew on camera. Okay. Let's do that again. All right. Here we go. Now we've got our V-neck basted all the way around. Now you can just go back and sew that with a straight stitch or your serger like I will. And you can take out those basting stitches. Beautiful V-neck.